Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the particle editor and how you can add particle effects to objects. Um, it's pretty fun. We can get something up and running pretty quickly and see you know, what it does. Um, we'll go into more detail as we start to add particle effects in the game. Okay, so first thing, I, I like to be on the general tab for this just because um, the preview that you see in the particle system shows up in the scene viewer, so it's nice to have that kind of big. And then I just changed over on the top left, I just changed this to particle editor, so I have access to that. Um, now, we don't have one open yet. What we could do from the data explorer is if we had some particle effects, we could just drag them right into here. You can just click on this. It'll tell you there's no particle system founds. So, okay, we're going to create one. We'll just call this, um, I don't know effects okay you got to be familiar with this by now it's the same view as in all the other modules where you've got the, the tabs that pull up different um, different options so there's a lot of different things to look at um, again this is just a brief overview so we're not going to look in too much detail but there's a lot of like in the general there's stuff like you know is it going to collide with the terrain or other colliders you, you know the particles going to be facing up or are they going to be normal where they kind of face the camera um, you know or, uh, if you assign a particle effect to an object is it going to use the transformations of the object that kind of stuff um, the type of emitter You've got a bunch of different things. This is just basically the shape, and then the particles. This is where all this is the meat and potatoes. You know, you get to set how many particles you're going to have, um, how many, what percent show up initially, what percent show up over time, um, textures that you can use as the particles, and just all kinds of stuff, colors, um, opacity. Um, like I said, we're not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I do want to just throw something up just to just so we can see how it functions. The one thing I will say is that you notice that I have a scene loaded in here. If you have a scene up and you go to hit the play button, you'll notice that you don't get to see the particle effects. So what we want to do is close the scene so that there's nothing here and then when we hit play you'll actually get to see the particle effect generator working. Now in this case it looks pretty dumb, it's pretty blocky, pretty big. Um, so let's try messing around with it a little bit. Instead of the Omni, which goes out in every direction, let's do like a cone. So you'll notice that now it's going to go out in this little, it's just a cone out in this direction. We can set the angle, um, say like, you know, 90 degrees. So now it's going to come out straight towards the camera. We'll go back to zero because it's a little bit easier to see. Um, particles. Let's uh, let's jack up the particles. Let's give it 512 particles. Let's give it just a little bit initially. Let's go pretty high over time so we get a steady flow. And if you want, you can um, even use some of the textures that are in here. So this one is a uh, default foam texture. I mean, it looks kind of dumb. You'd want to have something that's cleaned up a little bit better. But you can see how the texture can affect the um, the particles. If you turn on additive blending, then it looks really cool. You know, you start to get some flame effects. So now it's not looking so bad. Um, if we, you know, we change the lifetime, if we put it all the way down here, then our particle effects are going to drop off pretty quick. You know, something that might be useful for like a, some kind of a torch or a jet engine or something. Um, Initial speed, you know, we can make it coming out of there really fast so that, uh, you know, it looks even more like a jet engine. Um, rotation, this is going to affect um, how much the texture will rotate as it comes out. So we'll, we'll move the texture up so we get some variation. Gravity, so if you wanted to this thing to, you know, if you turn the gravity in negative, it's going to start to rise a little bit. If you go in the positive direction, it's going to go more towards the ground. Friction, um, you know, as you adjust the friction up, it's going to make it so the stuff doesn't go as far, or if you give it less friction, you know, it's all basic stuff. Uh, when we start getting into some of the interesting things, now we're dealing with time. So keyframes um, are going to affect the colors. So, you know, we have key one. Key one is keyed to this red color. Key two is keyed to this 
kind of a gray color and then there's some opacities that we deal with at the different keys and different sizes and so it's just a lot of fun to get in there and, and adjust things and see what it does um, it's doesn't have as much of effect when you're dealing with the additive blending but you'll notice that now our flame has a bit of a green tinge to it um, so you know it's just one of those things you just kind of get in and monkey with so now we've got green tinge but in keyframe 2 or key 2 we start getting further out now we've got a blue tinge so you can do a lot of really cool stuff um, pretty easily um, you know we can adjust the size um, now we're starting to look at maybe a little little missile missile trail or something you could you know imagine a missile um, we can turn the scaling up there's just all kinds of stuff to do so um, it's one of the funner things when you're making a game and you can throw some particle effects in and, and just you know it's like that little wow factor uh, hopefully they don't outshine the rest of your game too much I think there should be a bit of a balance but it's fun to do and um, and it looks pretty cool so Hope you enjoyed the video. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the um, the trails, so the poly trails, which are similar to particle effects. So hope you stay tuned for that. Thanks.